July 4th, everyone. Welcome to CBS Mornings. I'm Michelle Miller. I'm Omar Villafranca. And I'm Nancy Chen. Gail, Tony, and Nate are all off, but we're in good company. And here's today's eye-opener, your world in 90 seconds. Hurricane Barrel continues to wreak havoc across the Caribbean, killing multiple people and forcing evacuations in Jamaica. It's putting down a lot of rain. Storm surge, you betcha. Where you see that little flash of white in northern Mexico? That's a foot of rain. President Biden vows to stay in the presidential race after his shaky debate performance. I'm here to tell you today, President Joe Biden is in it to win it. And a record number of Americans could be on the move today as we celebrate the 4th of July holiday. We knew to get on the road by 8.30 or it would be a nightmare. In California, crews are fighting more than a dozen wildfires. Extreme heat in the triple digits is complicating firefighting efforts. The Nathan's famous hot dog eating contest returns. This year's contest at Coney Island will feature competitors from across the world, but Joey Chestnut will not be one of them. There's going to be a new champion, and it's going to be a great experience, and I'm just happy to be here. The Padres-Rangers game, ball fouled off to the third base side. A Rangers fan climbs out of the dugout and tries to catch the baseball. As you can see, he's going to get up on the dugout, slips, and then is caught like a big trout in the net, loses his beer. <laughs> well, when you do that, you are told to go home. And he's back. So he was just kind of thanking the Padres because a lot of them were emotioning his security. Let him stay. We were cool with it. This morning's eye-opener is presented by Progressive, making it easy to bundle insurance. I hope he got another beer out of that. That's a $10 beer. He, he Twelve. <laughs> yeah. yeah, clearly. Definitely was like, <laughs> glad they let me back in. It was worth it. Oh, all oh, so much, so, so much to talk about today, but we begin with Hurricane Barrel, the strongest storm to hit parts of the Caribbean in decades. The system brought punishing winds and storm surge to Jamaica as it passed the island as a Category 4. Earlier in Grenada, multiple people were killed, and on some islands, nearly every home was damaged or destroyed. Hurricane Barrel is now a Category 3 storm turning towards Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula. Tom Hansen is in Montego Bay, Jamaica. Tom, good morning. Welcome, welcome back to CBS Mornings. I'm Michelle Miller. Coming up this hour, Anthony Mason's emotional interview with REM, the first they've done in decades, including one answer that took everyone by surprise. I'm Omar Villafranca. The U.S. military is more inclusive than ever, and the number of male spouses of service members has soared. Michelle discovered how this often overlooked group is trying to win recognition. I'm Nancy Chen. We've also got some CBS Mornings deals for you this 4th of July. It's all about the red, white, and blue. And blue. <laughs> but first, here's today's <laughs> eye-opener at 8. Hurricane Barrel threatens Mexico after battering the Caribbean with deadly winds and storm surge. Large trees toppled, plenty of power outages as we were driving in. It's just one example of the homes, the businesses, the utilities all being impacted by the strongest parts of this storm. Millions of Americans hit the road for what's shaping up to be a record-breaking 4th of July travel weekend. Resign yourself to the fact that there's going to be traffic. Put on some good tunes and just keep going. You can't change it, so I fight it. Thousands are forced to flee a fast-moving wildfire in California as firefighters struggle to work under brutal conditions. We're in red flag conditions right now. You can see the, the wind blowing behind me. The temperatures are above 100 degrees. The president has always had our backs. We're going to have his back as well. President Biden meets with Democratic governors and vows to stay in the race after last week's shaky debate performance. I think the, uh, the ship has sailed. That it's too late. And Travis Kelsey jokes about his surprise appearance on stage on Taylor Swift's Eras Tour. The one thing I told myself is do not drop the baby. <laughs> <laughs> do not drop Taylor on your way over this damn couch. The golden rule was do not drop Taylor. Get her to the couch. Say, oh, no do not no hold on to the baby. Hold on to the baby. Yeah. Is, is he telling us something there? <laughs> no, no. no, I mean, oh. I, I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> Listen, he's on stage, he's on the tour. I need a Travis Kelsey single to drop. 
Oh, I need a okay. single to drop. Okay. All right, you guys are both putting a lot Travis, of big make energy. It happen. Uh, yeah. <laughs> a lot of big energy make it out there. So number one. Make I'm all so. for it. I'm all for it. Uh, <laughs> all right. Well, we begin this hour with the latest on Hurricane Barrel in the Caribbean. It's now a Category Three storm. You can see it here, churning its way towards Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula. That's after a frightening day yesterday in Jamaica, where the record-breaking hurricane brought punishing winds and storm surge, forcing some people to evacuate their homes. Tom Hansen is in Montego Bay, Jamaica for us. Tom, good morning. What's the situation there? has been a male friendship recession mm -hmm, has mm -hmm. been a problem since 1990. Mm. The number of men reporting they have no close friends has jumped from just 3% to mm. 15%. So really important for men to have support, yeah. just like women do. An important conversation it on all important. fronts. All of us need Great story. That does it for us today. We will see you tomorrow on CBS Mornings. Have a great 4th of July, everyone.